so uh, that's uh, that's good. You know, any of you guys want to give an input over the beanbag thing? The uh, you guys might be using this a lot in animation. You know, it's like uh, so basically what what's a be what a beanbag is? It's it's like a kidney bean, right? <laughs> or uh, something like this, right? Or just a bean, you know, a jelly beans or something like that. You can use anything in here. And the the upper part of this is uh, the rib cage. Okay, the upper part of this uh, is the rib cage. And the lower part of this is the pelvis, okay? So uh, it's a good way to just connect both of them because in the initial process that we uh, that we saw, basically you're making the rib cage uh, and the pelvis, they're, you're treating them as like separate entities, which they are, but they're also connected, right? So it's a good, it's a faster way to draw the torso from any, any angle, right? That's possible. So what do we wanna do is, um, and here's a trick, by the way. This is a very great trick for all of you guys. Uh, so before making the beanbag, what you want to do is you want to uh, keep focus on the angles, okay? So here, look at the angle of the shoulders. It's like this, right? So uh, I'm just gonna draw an angle like this, which is uh, which is actually informing me about the angle of the uh, about the angle of the shoulders, okay? So there we go. And the second line that you want to draw is the angle of the pelvis, okay? So here we can see the, the pelvis is pretty much straight on, okay? So uh, yeah, pretty much straight on. And it gives me like a great, like a stretch and squash position, okay? So just imagine we have a line, we have another line in here, and here's the torso, right? which is like this. And here's the belly button, okay? So here's a, here's a simplified version of the torso. I am, I'm completing the pelvis down here. So you see basically these two points here and these two points here, you ha just have to focus on them. Now, because these two points are closer because of the angle of the shoulders, uh, there would be a squash which is gonna get formed. And there we go, we have a squash on the body, right? So you just basically create a squash. And uh, obviously what's gonna happen to the other side, the other side is gonna get stretched, okay? So that is why you say stretch and squash, okay? And you don't keep them separate. You don't say stretch and squash differently. You say stretch and squash because if one thing is happening, other thing is definitely happening, okay? <laughs> so if one side is getting squashed, the other side is gonna go get stretched, okay? One, the other side is gonna go get stretched, okay? So just focus on these four points. And by the way, the torso didn't end on this line. This is just a line to represent uh, the angle of the pelvis, okay? This is one of the mistakes that people would do, by the way, they make the bean, they make this bean, but they forget to like complete the whole torso. Remember that the, you have to like complete the torso in order to uh, draw this whole, uh, draw the whole torso, right? Okay, so the line is just an angle. It's not the end of the torso, okay? So once we are done with this, uh, I don't know, uh, if you guys know about the the importance of the center line, okay, center line is just going to be really uh, mm -hmm. such an awesome tool, you know. Uh, it, it's gonna give volume, it's gonna give uh, the twist and the function and everything. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but uh, yeah, so something like this. Mm -hmm. And see how quickly it gives me like a uh, like a shape, you know, in inside of it where I can put like the, the rib cage and the pelvis, okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's try to put that in, okay. Now, one mistake, uh, another mistake that people usually do in this one, and I'm gonna turn down the opacity for this. Uh, another mistake that people do in this one is uh, twisting the bones or just bending the bones, okay? So some people might be like, okay, I'm just gonna take the, the rib cage and I'm just gonna drive like this, okay? Now see how, how the bone itself, because the rib cage, it, it's a bone, right? It's made out, it's a cage of bones, okay? <laughs> That's why it's called rib cage. So rib cage cannot bend. The pelvis is a bone, which is it's all it, it also cannot mm -hmm. bend basically. Mm -hmm. So uh, you remember that um, the only thing that bends is the muscles, okay? Like the muscles are what's gonna make a difference. Now talking about torso, uh, I'm just gonna take a uh, quick segue just to explain you this basically. So let's say I'm just gonna use a box this time, okay? So here's the pelvis, uh, sorry, here's the rib cage and here's a pelvis like that. And the only thing that that uh, has this capability of bending, twisting, turning, like why we are able to do all of these like flexible moments with our torso is because of this core thing, okay? Like this is called the core of the body, okay? Um, this area right here, okay? This, the middle area right here, okay? So you see what's happening? These are the basic muscles. Here's the rib cage. Okay. 
So remember, uh, always keep them parallel. Okay, always keep these two things parallel. The first, the upper angle, right? And the lower angle like this, okay? For both the ribcage and the pelvis. Uh, so a wrong version would look like this. And bending the, the bone itself, okay? So don't try to bend your bones in order to like fit that into that, uh, that bean shape that we made, okay? <laughs> so in this case, uh, the shoulders are gonna go this way and the lower body is like, as you can see, it's like all uh, messed up and skewed, okay? So that would be a wrong version of this one. Uh, so always like keep this, uh, keep this as a box, okay? And keep that as a parallel, which is like this, okay? So you fix the torso just really quickly. And we'll see uh, the landmarks that's like popping out because of this uh, function. So remember, okay, this uh, this region right here, let's say a blue re region. Okay, this is how it's going to be like. Okay, this thing is gonna do all the twisting, all the bending, all the squashing, and all the flexible moments of the torso, okay? So let's uh, let's get back into this one and see how we can um, how we can include that how we can include the ribcage. Now look at the model just for a quick second. Uh, you see this edge right there, uh, or, or just like so, something's like poking out. That's the end of the ribcage. Okay. Uh, so basically, this is the starting of the ribcage. It goes like this. Okay. So just like I said, you know, here I have identified a bump okay of the ribcage that's like poking out and because it's parallel right so the bone cannot bend and that's why it's like poking out of the of uh, the body right so what do you want to do is uh, you want to like do the same thing over here again now because you've identified the angle of the shoulders okay so you can draw like one straight parallel line across okay which is like this one straight parallel line and then you can draw the ribcage in the middle okay which is like this you see, everything is going to be parallel. You see like how this uh, is falling, like the perspective, remember the perspective that we talked about, okay? See how it's, how it's going to be like this. And uh, there we go, okay? So we have this uh, whole rib cage stick to this uh, in a correct manner, okay? <laughs> Inside that torso. Remember this outside bean shape, it's including like all the muscles and everything, okay? So it would, it would, it's mostly like an outer contour, like an outer simplified contour, okay? So um, with ribcage, any confusion in this one? How, how did we go for it? And uh, any confusion in steps, okay? First of all, just go with your beanbag shape, which is, I'm just gonna give a quick overview here. Just uh, identify the shoulder angle. I always start with the shoulder angle, okay? Because um, yeah, that is how um, how it's easy. It's more easy to do. You want to go with the shoulders. You want to go with the angle of the pelvis. And then identify these four points. Okay, you have four points in here. And then identify, uh, obviously, uh, the two points which are closer, okay? That side would create a squash, okay? which is like this. The other two sides, that's going to create a stretch, okay? And then you want to quickly just complete the whole torso here, okay? The next thing, uh, you wanna put in the rib cage and the pelvis in there. So pelvis is really simple. It's just like a bowl, you know, like forward tilted bowl. Um, mm -hmm. But with the rib cage, people make a lot of mistakes, which is they're bending the bone, okay? Uh, bending the whole rib cage. So what you wanna do is you wanna you want make a parallel line, uh, parallel line to the shoulder line, okay? And then in the middle, you can um, just have your rib cage really, really quickly. Okay. Uh, just have to remember the shape, right? So the shape again, I think I gave you a picture on the on the Google Drive, okay? And that one suggests like how to draw the rib cage, basically, okay? So it's it's like an egg, but uh, yeah, it, it's like a pinched egg from the top, okay? So it's mostly like this, you see? And the wrong version of this would look like this. People just make an egg like this as well. So which is uh, which is kind of normal, which is kind of neutral from the overall, uh, you know, from from the top and the bottom. Okay. So the ribcage is more like this, which is a little bit pinched from the top and uh, from the bottom, it's a little wider. Okay. So wrong version, right version. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, any uh, any doubts by this point? <laughs> 